See, in the last session, I explained the introduction part of a string framework. So now today we are going to start developing applications. We already discussed that in a spring, just we are we are implementing that IOC inversion of control as well as dependency injection. How we need to inject the dependencies, how we configure the dependencies means right in many ways are there the first one is xml configuration and then followed by the java based the java based annotation configuration annotations and next followed by so many options are there auto wiring and all we'll see one by one one by one first of all let me explain a simple Spring Core application. Spring Core application. See here in this Spring Core application, what are all the files required and what kind of application we need to start. So first of all, we are using a Maven project. Maven application we are developing. So first of all, what is a Maven application? Instead of creating the normal Java project, core project, instead of normal Java project, why it is Maven project means what? What all the jar files require that we need to add manually by downloading all the jar files from the internet if it is Java project manually add all libraries the simply to say jar files jar files to the application if it is a maven project what is the advantage right automatically automatically collect required libraries required libraries from maven repository there is a maven repository I'll show you very clearly. Automatically, all the things will be added. But how, where we need to specify means what? There is a, there is a file called pom.xml file. pom.xml file. In this file, we need to specify all the dependencies then automatically these dependencies will collect and will be added. That is the simple way. So first of all, how many files are there? As usual, one bean class is required. Bean class or Pojo class is required. Next one is a one main class, right? That is a main application. The third one is a for XML configuration is one XML file. Any name you can give. Here it is a recommended name is application context dot XML. Reason is context is nothing but one application. Context is nothing but representing the entire application, all the beans. You will clearly understand how to write all these things. First, let me create one, one file. Create one file. Here it is a file, Maven project. File, Maven project you need to open. Just click on this one. Maven project. In this one, it is showing that Use a default work location. Create a simple, simple project. Just click on this one. And here it is. Click on next. Click on next. Then it will ask, enter the group ID. Right, enter that artifact ID. What is the name of the project? What is the description and all these things? Just like a group ID. 
group id is a something like a package suppose com dot amir pet i am writing artifact id is equals to the name of the application simply first spring core app first spring core app i am taking the same thing i am writing that name and as well as a description simple core application of spring spring framework just a normal description if you want to give you can or else simply you can finish it you can finish it simply like this when you are finish it then automatically that application will be created using the artifact id that what you specify first spring core application first spring core application it is representing m m is a maven project here it is j you know that whenever it is showing something like a globe it is a dynamic web project it's not dynamic web project like normal java project here it is like this maven project right it will be created like this two folders source main dot java folder resources folder and pom dot xml file like this all the things as of now here it is a core library added core java related things added in case if it is not generated like this you need to do one thing just right click on this application right click maven maven update the project update the project if the folder structure is not perfect in your system click on update project here it is a force update is there force update just select that force update and then okay then automatically that project will be updated or a maven related the things all the things will be updated in your ide and the structure will be like this and here in this source dot main dot main java in this folder we need to create we need to create the bean class so any any simple bean package is the same package i am using com dot amir pet name is just a student i am taking student i just want to make it as a bean class here it is only only one one variable i am taking string what is the name that's all <clears throat> student name or s name simply or student id anything you can specify just name of the student we need to write setters and getters simply you can generate that <clears throat> you can generate the setters and getters for name generate here it is as of now we just specified one bean class so that is in java here it is you can create one main app also main app simply that test student it's a test class or simply test main test or anything you can which contains that main also right about this i'll explain followed by next one next one is a we need to create object normally in applications we are creating object to classes directly but in spring framework we are not creating the objects directly simply to say in xml configuration whenever you configure all the beans right automatically instances will be created which are called dependencies 
and supplied to the application automatically. That we need to generate. Sir, where I should write means what? See, in resources folder, right click on resources, new XML file. Here it is not available. Other, other search for XML file. XML, this is C. In some of the cases, XML file is not available in your system. If it is not available in your system, what we have to do? First, let me show you. Here it is a <clears throat> in this in this help option, Eclipse Marketplace is there. What is that? Eclipse Marketplace in help help menu. Eclipse Marketplace is there. Right. Uh, if you are means what if if something is not available in your system, any kind. Any XML XML file is missing. Sometimes, right? You can able you cannot able to find HTML files and all whenever you are writing the things. Then in Eclipse Marketplace only, you need to search here. All extensions you can search here. Suppose XML file is missing. Here it is a type XML, and when you press enter. It is looking for all XML extensions. All XML extensions, it will search. See, if it is not available, what all the required things will be automatically collected from the internet. Look at this. Eclipse XML editors and tools. Right? Most installations definitely it will show here like 60.4k no installations 20.5k installations like here it is a installations are there na? more installations any one you can select here it is the top one is there eclipse xml editors already installed look at this installed it because in my system it is already installed in case if you are unable to find the XML editor, you please use Eclipse Marketplace, right? That is from help menu, XML, search for XML and install this. Once you refresh the project and then right XML will come. So now in resources, look at this, in resources, new. Now here it is searching for XML, XML file. Next, it is looking for the name. Of course, better any name you can give, just application context. I'm giving the name, application context.xml. Here one point, a very important point you need to understand. We need to add some content that let me copy because which is common. Here it is. Uh, this is XML, the versions and everything. We are specifying the beans. Look at this. Let me write some code. Here it is a beans. XML is nothing but tag based only. Beans start here right and end here sir what you are writing in between these we already defined one bean student dot java bean is there na? this bean you need to represent in this application context so we are adding this bean we are adding this bean what are the properties we need to add First one, ID. I'll explain what is the ID. Next one is a class. What is the bean class? This bean class, student, which is available in com.amirpet.student. 
that is the bean class nothing but to which class to which class i need to create instantiation okay after creation of instantiation how can you identify that bean any name you can give me student simply yes or stud or student it's your wish suppose i am giving that name is a student and one important point is in this bean here it is a one property is there one instance variable is there to this we need to set value from here that is called property that is called property what is the name of the property and what is the value you want to provide to that property that's all sir what is the name of the property here the name already we have given this here what is the name you write you are writing the same name you need to specify here and what is the value you want to give it's any name suppose let me give amar this is the representation of bean how many number of bean classes you define all the bean classes you need to specify in this way only right whenever you configure in application.context.xml file then what will happen from here automatically object will be created for this student class and what is the value you are giving that automatically will set it will invoke the setter method automatically it will invoke the setter method it will create the object simply you can access the object using stud sir from where i should access from where from the main application from the main application here you need to create object for you need to create object for one class what is the class new application context the class this one the class path xml context class path xml application context that is here you need to create object for that any name object name you can give context class path xml application context context is equal to new class path application context simply you can remove this also just application context is a top for all here you need to specify what is the xml file name you need to specify very properly application context dot xml file what is the file name you specify here the same name you should specify here if any modifications it will not give the output it will give the error message unable to find the xml file even cases also lower case upper case words also important now it is giving that error message sir why unable to find this class path xml application context it is belongs to spring core spring core and spring context dependencies we need to add so where we need to add means this one open pom dot xml file which is generated in the application see so many errors it is showing pom dot xml file then xml file will be open like this with a description name what we have given group id everything see before this project we need to add dependencies we need to add dependencies let me copy the dependencies which are available simply how can we copy and all i'll show you 
here it is just search spring core and context maven dependency if you search like this from maven repository.com or from any website or from you can copy from anywhere anywhere is there any different releases are there when you click on any release any release here it will show spring context dependency like this you just you need to copy like this and you need to paste it you need to paste it like this only versions if it is not working version you need to change if 6 is not working 5 5 is not working 4 only versions you need to change let me copy in the in the document what i am providing in that clearly i mentioned here it is the dependencies the dependencies all the dependencies let me show you these are one is a core this is a spring core dependency and spring maven dependency see one point is important as soon as i added dependencies here it is here it is it is showing only jre system library it is not showing maven repository library as soon as i save control s then automatically it will start collecting information from the maven repository it will start collecting information then automatically look at this maven dependencies added Maven dependencies added. All these added. All these are required. Automatically collect the jar files and add it. That is. Now, go to that main. Now we need to import. Here it is. Click on this. It is expecting import application context. Import. Next, import class path XML context. Importing, that is. Now, no errors in the project. After this, after this, simply what I need to do. In this application context, in this one, we are already representing the beans very clearly. Representing the bean. With the help of this ID, we need to get the instance of this bean. Get the instance of this bean. Simply context dot get bean is there. Get bean. Here you need to specify bean ID. This point is also important. Don't confuse what you specify the id in application context the same thing you need to specify here then you will get the object of that class what is that object student object so we need to collect into student object here any name you can give suppose yes you will get one error Get bean means you will get in the form of object parent class that you need to downcast. Just click on this one, it will show clearly. Add cast to student, yes. Simply it will add like this. This is downcasting concept. This is the way we need to specify bean in XML file with the help of ID. Then Spring itself create the instances and supply to the application. So we will get those beans using the IDs and we access s dot c get name method is there. Where is the method? In this student get name method is there now. That name we are accessing here directly. System dot out dot print and hello. Just the name we are giving. 
that name we are printing simple way this is the simple core application which consists four important files one is a bean one is a bean class one is a main class one is application context this is important where we are here it is where we are specifying configuring all beans in xml file and pom.xml file where we are adding all dependencies simple now just run this main file run as java application simple way how we run the core application in the same way we run look at this it is showing the output what is the name you mentioned along with that it is executing after that you just try by adding multiple by adding multiple properties in the same way just here it is add private you take a separate one because as it is a first application when you practice multiple applications it will be more easy for you private int suppose id next one is a private string course now adding all getters and setters just source fix it all getters and set setter select all and generate now in the same way same story in a in xml file not only the first property two more properties add property name equals to the name we give id that value is one two three four and one more property you please add property name equals to course what is the course you are taking the course is java full stack course like this the three properties we are adding successfully is the same one in just to test how we are how we are collecting this information collecting simply here it is a name in the same way we are collecting that collecting that id is s dot get id look at this it is showing all the available methods that student name is and the student course is system dot out dot print ln the course is see i am doing everything in a single project and you please take another project right and then you try application from the beginning so all the three it is showing very clearly this is the simple way of creating the bean and configure that bean using xml configuration xml configuration and executing from the main please practice practice this okay i'll share the link of the video also everyone write the code of course documentation also i will share practice everything okay thank you